गुड मॉर्निंग गाइज हेलो एंड वेलकम और वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल क्षितज ए के द रेस्टिक वॉन्डर रिपोर्टिंग लाइव फ्रॉम द टॉप पंक ऑफ माई नाइट ट्रेन लेट्स कंटिन्यू द जर्नी ऑनवर्ड्स तो इन द प्रीवियस लॉग यू सॉ आई बोर्डेड दिस नाइट ट्रेन विच इज अबाउट सिक्स हंड्रेड आउट किलोमीटर जर्नी Uh, it started in Kohlu for about 11 hours and in about an hour or so we'll be arriving at our first checkpoint which is going to be the Turku port and from the port we'll be boarding a cruise ship and headed onwards towards our destination which is going to be another 5 hours or so of the journey ahead and the connecting time in between is very tight uh, also because the train got delayed by about 10 minutes or so So let's see how it goes but first let's uh, freshen up So this is where we have to go the Turku port It says it's going to arrive at 7:52 a.m., which was the original scheduled time. So I guess they made up for the lost time. I just hope that's enough for the connection to the ferry, and the cruise ship ahead. But the views are nice, and it's a bit chilly. That's why I put up the jacket. Look at the fog outside. All right, then. Time to say goodbye to the room. So I had to run around a little bit, but uh, finally made it here. That's the ferry that we're boarding, and the boarding starts now. So let's explore a bit. It was a very smooth check-in. The self-check-in counter closed because I got here two minutes past that time, but the staff helped me board. So the ship leaves in five minutes. Uh, yeah. I didn't book a room, so I can stay on the deck anywhere in the public areas. So I'm just exploring a bit, trying to get to the sun deck, which is on uh, highest level somewhere here or maybe here. Try to get a nice view first. Made it to the sun deck. the deck but there is no sun here it's all super cloudy and rainy this is another ship from booking line another company that runs the cruises and they connect from helsinki and stockholm so you can get to the destination where we are going also from there the view is nice For the moment it's nice to be on the deck but I guess once the ship starts cruising and we are out in the sea it's going to be very cold as you can see I've already put on a jacket in which case I'll go inside I booked a buffet breakfast so I'll stay nice and warm there but for now I just came to vlog a bit while the weather is still okay Okay, it looks like we're moving. That's another cruise ship from Viking Line. This is a better view. 
amazing how stable and quiet this cruise ship is despite its size it's been moving and turning and repositioning to undock and leave and I can't feel any vibration on my feet maybe the engines are also still idling or uh, not on full swing but as you can see the position of this Viking Line cruise has changed a bit so we are now I think turning in place preparing to undock and head out on our adventure so that's the Syria line this is the cruise company for which the cruise I'm taking so that's the terminal we went up those flight of stairs and then from there we boarded so I think from there we undocked and now we are turning that way and then we go so that's the head of the ship but I think that's only accessible to the crew because this is the engine room so it's dangerous for us civilians to be out there but this is so much fun I hope the winds in the sea are not so freezing cold so I can come back up here and take a few other shots but in the meantime I'll just walk around try to look for something nice if there is one um, and you know oh I think that's the Turku castle I have been to Turku before so this city is kind of uh, familiar to me a couple of years ago I came here for the uh, was it uh, wine and food festival I came here with a friend and we stayed here for a couple of days after the festival I didn't care much about the wine but they had uh, really nice lemonades and stuff they have the flag of Sweden here so I suppose this is a Swedish company but anyways in Turku region and the destination where I'm headed they speak Swedish prominently but I suppose English is okay as well I'll reveal the destination once I'm there and uh, we have docked at the port. For the moment, let's let it be a suspense and enjoy the ride. Soon after, uh, in an hour, I'll go downstairs because I booked a buffet breakfast. So last night I had a very light snack and had some leftovers when I left home. So now it's time to have a food coma in an hour. Until then, I'll just walk around, explore the ship and capture the scenes. Hope you're enjoying the vlog. If you are, uh, be sure to like already and subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you don't forget it towards the end. A uh, lot more episodes coming from this adventure ahead. Stay tuned. this is where we are at the deck these are rooms which I didn't take on two floors uh, here is the thing of importance grand buffet grill house so I'm gonna spend most of my time here on deck 7 and maybe deck 6 also other than that it's uh, rooms and vehicle storage and stuff the journey is about five hours long and the cabins of course were paid additional so I didn't bother taking it, I'll just spend time in the buffet area and the restaurants area, walk around those two decks, see what's there to shop around, document the cruise ship, it's quite big. Um, and then hopefully by the afternoon we'll be at the destination anyways, so it didn't feel right to book a deck. Plus anyways, every time I take a cruise ship I never stay in one place, so decks are usually, even if I have it, is for storage of luggage and I walk around. And today I have the convenient backpack, so didn't need it. Seems to be closed for now. Maybe it will open later in the journey. It's just 8.35. Maybe it's too early for the stores to open. Ah, huh, 9 to 12. Come back later.
that we are out in the open waters the wind is really really cold so I just came here for a nice walk <laughs> there's a nice walking path here and there is nobody around so I'm just taking a walk trying to digest the food still in food coma better than going up and down the stairs all the time and the shops have opened up so I was just taking a look at what they have on display poses cosmetics and clothes which is not something that I want to buy much just killing time is just 1040 I think we have about two and a half three hours something like that before we get to the final destination so I'm just gonna walk around a bit and then find a comfy spot and maybe take a nap again after all there is this is a vacation so I came here to rest First time I managed to capture such a big cruise ship do a reverse parking and as you can see it's drizzling quite a lot so I have to stop recording now and go inside protect my GoPro uh, yeah let's wait for the ship to dock and then we head over to our accommodation then I'll give you a property tour So hello from Mariham, the capital of Orland Islands. It's a group of islands and Mariham is the capital of the main island which has about 40% of the population of all Orlanders. The main language here is Swedish and that's where I wanted to come. As you can see the weather is not the best but it is what it is. Anyway, so the overall journey took about 11 hours by train from Olu to Turku port, 5 hours by ferry from Turku to Mariham and then we are here now I'm walking on the way to my accommodation and yeah there is a shorter way as well you could directly take a plane so I suppose there is a small airport here where Finnair serves that airport and all major airports like Helsinki would be connected here uh, the only problem is uh, looking for the flights from Olu for the dates where I wanted to be here the flights arrived around midnight which is not something that I like especially when I'm going to a new city and if you're going to an island like this where you know the connectivity is not going to be that prominent in the middle of the night so I took this longer route instead and now I'm here at like 1.53 p.m. and yeah in about 20-25 minutes I'll be in my accommodation and then grab some uh, water have some rest and enjoy take it easy today and start exploring from tomorrow hopefully it will stop raining as well um, but yeah that was the main logic behind taking this longer route also it was mostly rest I wasn't doing much um, had a good sleep on the train took a nice nap also on the ferry after the food coma and now I'm in exploration mode so let's see what all end has to offer as a group of islands and the plan is to venture out of Mariham at some point but for the moment just exploring Mariham so as you can see it's a bit of a uphill climb like this again GoPro will not do justice it will show you flat but it's kind of like a bit steep so yeah when I get to the accommodation I'll show you around seem to be like a nice cottage with nice greenery and access to beaches and stuff let's see the number plates here are very interesting trying to protect their privacy but what I wanted to show you is uh, on the number plate it has the flag of Holland and it says Holland whereas for for example the rest of the European Union they have the European Union symbol there and the initials of the country uh, this is different here 
just found something interesting on the way uh, this walking route is really nice so much lush greenery really loving it so far So as I was telling you their main language here is Swedish so I think that's the region where my accommodation is and these are written in Swedish um, another interesting fact about the Åland archipelago is as I said it's a group of islands so there are about 6700 such islands on this archipelago and as a part of this archipelago and I think only 10% of them are habited of which 40% of that net population um, stays on this main island which is really cool but uh, if you have access to a boat or kayak or something you can always access the other ones uh, do a off wheat picnic on a remote island where there's no one uh, no one else but you so that could be fun let's see if that's gonna be possible oh there's a nice big park with lots of birds some people are walking their dogs there and this is the walking route maybe in the morning tomorrow i'll come and walk here or later in the evening if it stops raining this looks really relaxing it's on the way to the accommodation so shouldn't be too far and there is wildlife so you can have a natural adventure with the greenery it's green all around a couple of days ago on Instagram uh, I saw one photo with the sakura trees but it's been raining all this time so I don't know if they're still here but if I can recapture a sakura once again I could relive my days in Japan. That would be so much fun. Oh, this is nice. They have a camping site. No wonder I was seeing some caravans and some people have even pitched their tents. Huh. And towards the end, there is water there. And all the camper ones there. GoPro probably wouldn't capture it from this far, but looks nice. Something worth checking out. Once I find my accommodation, could be a nice place to explore. Okay, found it. So this is our accommodation for the coming days. Could be some, I have a twin room, could be in one of these cottages I suppose. Let's go to the reception and find out how it works. So just arrived this is gonna be our twin room this is gonna be my bed this is gonna be empty i have the whole room to myself with a tiny desk here and there seems to be a deck outside and this path leads to a beach and a swimming area there probably we'll explore it at a later point and it stops raining but also there's a small basin a dressing mirror, a cabinet, chair. So nice and convenient, small room, very economical for the time I'm here. And yeah, yeah soon I'll freshen up, have some water and then start exploring to see what's around. Room. That's where my room is. This is the pantry area. Washrooms. So this place is uh, also have some bike rentals. So it's two euros per hour, ten euros per day. So this island is really awesome to explore with a bike. And the owner of this property is really friendly. Um, he was just explaining to me how I can uh, have a bike and some routes where I could go northwards or eastwards and explore the island. It's uh, fun that way. 
and most of the people kind of like skip over some offbeat locations he was giving me some nice tips on things i can do but this is the the path that i saw ah, okay so that's my room i guess the third window or something is my room that's the deck we saw and then this is a nice lush area the interesting thing i got to know is uh, this is salty water here so there are not gonna be so many mosquitoes around which is fun to know because that's one thing i hate about a place like this which is so great to swim but the mosquitoes are just gonna eat your life but this is like a very peaceful area i wonder who these cottages belong to maybe it's the same owner they also have cottages or is it the campsite we saw on the way this is a nice picnic spot by the water Could that be uh, one of those mobile saunas that they have even in Olu these days? The Kesha sauna. Huh. And from here, you just get down into the water. I suppose since today is all windy and rainy and chilly, not the best time to be in there. But I do have my swimming shorts if the weather permits. Maybe I'll just give it a try at some point. Not for now. But this is so relaxing. The sound of the waves in the morning if you just come here and it's not raining. This is gonna be fun. And this is so close to the property. It's just those blue white cottages. That's where I'm staying. You pass a couple of these cottages and you're here. It's like less than four five hundred meters away i absolutely love this property this property so far it's so relaxing so natural so offbeat as well during the season they say it's it gets quite busy um, but i came here off season except for this weekend where it's the spring festival going on um, so i got a really nice deal and it's very kind of just kind of the vibes that i look for in an accommodation so i'm absolutely loving it uh, 10 on 10 definitely recommend this property i leave the description of this property uh, in the description box below the link to and the address to this property so if you can check it out if you want to get it as well and if you're passing by mariham you could stay here it's about two and a half kilometers from the ferry terminal so that is also very convenient and maybe tonight for dinner i probably walk that way to find something interesting to eat wonder what they have on the menus but we'll see for the moment we're just gonna walk around left right and center try and see just stretch the legs a bit A family of geese okay no need to be mad at me just here vlogging one two three four five kids nice I hope GoPro caught them and then this is the harbor probably the people living in these houses on these boats here That's nice. Oh well, the rain is getting stronger. So I'll go back in, maybe charge the batteries, rest up a little bit, and then venture out again later tonight for dinner.
So it's about 6.20 p.m. I had a nice rest in my room, was watching a couple of uh, vlogs and some clips on YouTube. There's a boat behind me on a car. So yeah, I thought of going out for a walk. Still drizzling, but not as heavy as it was before. I'm just trying to go take a walk, probably in one to two kilometer radius, there would be some places to go and eat. Ever since the buffet on the cruise, uh, I skipped lunch and haven't had anything else. Just had a half a cup of coffee here in the accommodation. So yeah, I'm gonna have a early dinner because also the the owner told me that you know it's still not the restaurants are still not operating on the summer hours. Uh, that would probably start from next month or something when it's peak tourist season. So they normally close or start to close around 8 p.m. or so, most of them. So it's uh, safer to go and you know be done eating by that time or risk kind of sleeping hungry. So let's see what we find. Probably pizza or something. But we'll see. That uh, houseboat seems pretty high-end. Let's keep walking to find something that suits our budget. These marinas normally have a lot of eateries around them, so I'm just gonna walk around a bit, try and see what all options do I have. Here's another one. Well, looks like I'm going in here for kebab of some sort. Not very authentic, but it is what it is in budget. All right, I have a feeling this episode is gonna be really long, so closing the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed this episode and with this, this is Rustic Wanderer signing off and I'll see you in the next episode with hopefully slightly better and brighter weather. Till then, take care.